Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to design and simulate uh, op-amp as an integrator in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of an op-amp integrator. If you carefully observe with respect to differentiator, the position of the resistor and the capacitor is uh, interchanged. That is, there is a feedback capacitor instead of a feedback resistor. And consequently, uh, op-amp as an integrator, uh, the name itself gives you some kind of an information as what it is all about, isn't it? So uh, integrator, it basically performs an operation of uh, integration with respect to the input, whatever is being supplied. If you're supplying sine wave, uh, you will be getting minus cosine wave at the output so based on that uh, the integration operation is performed and uh, op amp as we know by definition operational amplifier is basically uh, a device that is used to amplify the signal with respect to the input terminals if you are supplying it to the inverting terminal the output will be 180 degree in phase shift with respect to the input if you are supplying the input to the non inverting terminal then consequently you will be getting zero degree phase shift with respect to the input terminals so once this is understood let us look into the waveform uh, this is our supply voltage which is equal to 4 volt we will be approximately getting minus 12.5 volts or something like that in that range uh, with respect to the values that we are going to design for so let's look into our design before that it's very clear that it is a cosine waveform um, as you can see and once this is done uh, we will look into our design so our design uh, will be starting off with certain assumptions that is uh, based on our requirement as what is our output voltage required based on that value we can change uh, r1 cf and all those values so we are assuming Vs to be equal to 4 volt and choosing R1 as 10 ohms and CF as 10 microfarad, we'll be finding out the value of V out. V out is basically given by this formula that is minus of 1 by R in C0 to TV in DT minus because it is the input is given to the inverting terminal and uh, consequently when you simplify this you will be getting minus 1 by J omega RC into V in. One important point to be noted here is we don't know the value of T. So we have to find the value of T but uh, for simplicity I have not got in detail with respect to the calculation portions so based on the value of t if if t is 1 that is totally fine you'll be getting this expression if t is 2 then you will be getting another constant isn't it so dt will be differentiated you'll be getting 2 the upper limit will be 0 to 2 and 2 will be there in the numerator so based on that the value will change so that's the reason i've assumed t to be equal to 1 and i found this expression uh, so you'll be getting minus 6.37 volt uh, 36 volt at the output however uh, in matlab i i am getting minus uh, 12.5 volt because the t value over there is considered to be equal to 2 and uh, I have not shown the calculation with respect to the design procedure so just uh, uh, make sure uh, you uh, simplify the expressions and based on the requirements you design it so once this is done we will get into our uh, simulation in MATLAB so all right here we are so uh, we'll be clicking on the simulink library browser and search for the ones that we need uh, we'll be requiring a voltage sensor so search for voltage sensor at this point so one of the extremely greatest feature that the library browser provides is the search feature within it so instead of searching uh, going and scrolling down with respect to this you can directly search whatever is required at this point so add voltage sensor choose the ones that are there in blue there will be something in black as well don't choose that uh, with respect to op amp circuits uh, so uh, that is used for a different purpose with respect to power electronics power systems and uh, DC motor interfacings and induction motor interfacings we'll be using that so we will be requiring an AC voltage so, so search for AC voltage Just choose the ones that are there in blue as I already told you and once this is done uh, we will be requiring a ground uh, for our circuit uh, so search for electrical reference and choose the one that are there in blue uh, after this is added uh, we will be adding uh, a solver configuration block which basically enters the solver uh, parameters uh, while their simulation is taking place so very important block if you don't have this block then simulation will throw you an error uh, so be very careful so simulink uh, converter is one of the most uh, important blocks as well so add this block this is required because uh, we are using a voltage sensor so sensors are basically physical parameters and they need to be converted in a form that is suitable for the simulink to accept as so that's the reason why we need this so once this is also added uh, we will be requiring a resistor so search for resistor uh, you will be getting it uh, right at the bottom over here and uh, search for capacitor as well so we will be requiring it in the feedback path so uh, we will be adding a capacitor add the ones that are there in blue and uh, once that is done we will be requiring operational amplifier which is basically the heart of our circuit so add this block as well uh, at last we will be uh, adding uh, a scope uh, which is basically used in order to see how the output waveform looks like so add this block as well 
so once all of these are added uh, we'll be placing them in appropriate positions according to the circuit diagram so that we can directly connect them and uh, get started with our simulation process so um, we will be connecting uh, if you carefully observe with respect to a pamp it is plus and minus isn't it according to a circuit diagram it is minus and plus so just for our convenience let us rotate this uh, how do we do that so right click on the op amp and go to rotate and flip and uh, there will be an option uh, it's taking a bit time okay uh, click on flip block and then go to up down choose up down here it will automatically invert its uh, position that is you will be getting minus plus so connect the resistor with respect to the inverting terminal according to our circuit and we will be uh, connecting the electrical reference give some gap between the source and the electrical reference so that we will be connecting in a voltage sensor here we will be connecting the capacitor between uh, these two parts so uh, I'll be connecting in this particular fashion we'll be requiring another ground isn't it so control c and control v and we'll be giving it to the non-inverting terminal in this particular fashion so once this is done uh, we'll be requiring a voltage sensor which is used to uh, check what is the output voltage and this needs to be converted see in case we give it directly here it is not accepting we have to give it through Simlink converter that's the reason why we need this and once this is done we also require a voltage sensor at the output terminals as well connect it between these two points with respect to ground um, and then give it to a Simlink converter we need another one so control C control V and then uh, give it it in this particular fashion connect it to the scope so once this is done we will be uh, uh, connecting the solver configuration such that it touches the circuit it can be here or here or here any position with respect to that it doesn't matter now we'll be entering the value of capacitor and inductor uh, capacitor and resistor sorry uh, we'll be choosing it to be equal to 10 microfarad isn't it so scroll use the drop down and choose microfarad here click on ok uh, click on the resistor and uh, choose the value of it to be equal to 10 ohm and click on OK double click on the voltage source and change its value to be equal to 4 volt and frequency to be equal to 1000 Hertz so based on 1000 Hertz frequency I have designed it so you can design it for different frequencies and check as well um, based on your requirement so once this is done uh, we have entered all the parameters change the simulation time it's one of the most commonly made mistakes by students they tend to give a large simulation time even 0.5 seconds is very high for these type of circuits it should always be in milliseconds so remember this point and now click on run so it does take a little time to uh, compile and uh, to produce the output now double click on the scope uh, to check how the output waveform looks like uh, you'll be do looking at it by double clicking on the scope in this particular fashion so once that is done uh, we can categorically separate them uh, the waveforms uh, in this particular fashion by using this uh, particular uh, feature that is provided by MATLAB so uh, this is our input uh, voltage which is 4 volt and this is our output voltage which is approximately equal to minus 12.5 and this is a sine signal this is a cosine signal so it is basically performing an integration operation isn't it so that's the reason why we're getting this particular waveform so uh, I hope uh, you have understood how uh, the simulation of op-amp as an integrator can be performed in MATLAB. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting. Thank you.